I'm grateful that Barker is uh, was there. Yeah. You know, as a as a father figure to my daughter. Well, I have to be grateful that you know uh, Shayna was a, a mother to to Atiana and just know my place. Oscar De La Hoya praises Travis Barker, who raised his daughter Atiana with Shayna Mokler after she and Travis married in 2004 when Atiana was just five years old. Oh, he's, he's such a nice guy. Look, I, I, I didn't raise my kids. You know, their moms did. I have to give credit where credit is due. I have a really good relationship with my dad. Mm -hmm. um, like, don't get me wrong. Um, we're close. But, I mean, I think just like how I get frustrated with her, I get frustrated with him, too. I mean, he's busy. She has, uh, like, two dads, you know? Yeah. Right. So with, she has Travis and her dad, yeah. so she's kind of lucky. I'm obviously a father, and I'm proud of it. Um, but, again, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for what they've done, uh, especially with Barker. Travis, to your left! To your left, guys! Even after the Blink-182 drummer and Shayna split in 2008, Atiana's been a priority for Travis and is now part of his next chapter as their blended family got even more blended. We've been next door neighbors for years. We have barbecues together. We just hang out with one another, so it's not weird for us to be integrated. On Atiana's birthday in March, Travis's new bride, Kourtney Kardashian, celebrated the special day on her Instagram story. I want to introduce you to your new brothers and sisters. Aren't they cute? How many grandchildren do I have now? 4,000. <laughs> he obviously stepped up to the plate and, and you know, he's a good, he's a good, he's a good guy. I've talked to him several times and, you know, we, we communicate about Atiana. Yeah, I'm just grateful, grateful for what he's, what he's done. Oscar's rare comments about Travis come as the legendary boxer prepares to open up like never before. The last 45 years have been have been pretty dark. Sitting down for a two-part HBO documentary about his complicated legacy. It's part of the whole process of, of, of setting yourself free and just telling the truth. I've never told anybody about my life, about my 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 emotions, about about reality of what really happened what has happened in my life. You know, basically lying for most of my career and my 30 years of holding all these secrets in and this and that, it's, it's over with. It's, it's best to tell the truth. It's best to just be upfront. I feel free, I feel great. I, I can sleep at night, man. I, I'm, I'm such at peace right now. It's just incredible.